My name is Sudhindra. Uh, I am the founder of Belong. I am uh, co-founder of Evo Analytics. I am Tanmay. I am the CTO at Hasura. So we use DigitalOcean for uh, various purposes. Uh, now we are a SaaS company. That means you know everything we offer, uh, software, beats, service, everything is on cloud. Uh, so DigitalOcean is like uh, uh, very important. Uh, it plays a very important role in our uh, business. Evoke would not have been there if not for cloud. And in cloud, we finally chose a partner uh, which works best for us. Which right now is DigitalOcean. Uh, so what we like about DigitalOcean uh, is you know uh, no bullshit interface. Uh, you don't need uh, DevOps support. Developers can do it themselves. Uh, very self uh, self sufficient software. Uh, and with a lot of great community around DigitalOcean, that becomes very easy for us uh, when we are trying out new things or we want to when we run through frequent problems. You can go to that community. Uh, and you know get answers to it so the key thing what we required was uh, one thing obviously we are bootstrapped right now so a definite billing plan like end of the month bill should be what we predicted at the beginning of month which came only through digital ocean i have tried all of them whatever is available in market and this is the most uh, you know transparent billing they have also very very you know efficient pricing uh, which also makes it uh, really really uh, interesting uh, and very uh, you know uh, interesting case for us to try out distillation we tried distillation we are still on distillation our uh, front end is on distillation we also have our databases and storage uh, and backups are also hosted on distillation a lot of our developers also use distillation for hobby projects hackathons and stuff i think one of the things that i love the most is um, the fact that it's dead simple it is it is you you can't you can't get simpler than that right um and then of course it's very competitively priced and the vms created really, really fast but the experience of creating a vm deploying something on it destroying the vm creating another vm is beautifully simple um and and i think something that is very relevant in, uh, in the modern times we do deploy upon clusters like apache spark and we have our experimentation done on r and a lot of open source technologies and we do have our proprietary libraries also so all of them are being developed on distribution solutions distribution offer also offers amazing support uh, you know amazing premium support so we don't need to worry when our uh, servers are going down or you know when when there is a problem uh, the support is also incredible within the organization we use it for um, a lot of development a lot of testing in fact our um, Uh, sites are hosted on DigitalOcean, so all our static sites, our documentation sites are all hosted on DigitalOcean. Internally in the organization, um, at some point of time, I was actually using it as a PC in the cloud because um, I had a Mac that was not powerful enough for the kind of compilation that I need to do. So um, I would actually just sort of create a DO VM. I would have a setup there, and then I would develop on the DO VM. So I've, we've used it for all sorts of things. For the people who are trying to start fresh on this, definitely go ahead and use it. and i can guarantee that your experience will be much much better than any other thing available right now in market if you are a developer or a startup uh, you want to solve customers problem uh, and uh, you want uh, you know uh, a cloud software or a hosting provider which is uh, uh, you know very very friendly for you to get started uh, you 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 love the whole uh, you know philosophy of uh, single click uh, cloud uh, management uh, and uh, as a developer you can focus on solving the core customer problem than worrying about your infrastructure the solution has been like uh, you know if you bring in a new guy and you want him to be on speed we just refer him okay on distillation you look for this documentation this documentation you're on